Andrews just made the new boss of Philadelphia. He took care of everything from Philadelphia to Atlantic City. And Watch Angelo Bruno, the real Angelo from the movie The Irishman, played by Harry Cato. Angelo Bruno, born Angelo Alaloro, was a Sicilian American mafia boss. He was head of the Philadelphia crime family for two decades. He was nicknamed the Gentle Dawn because he preferred reconciliation to violence. Angelo Bruno was born in 1910 in Philadelphia, Sicily, as Angelo Alaloro. He later changed his name to Bruno, which he was parent of grandmother's family name. As a teenager, he emigrated to the United States, settling in Philadelphia. He was a son of a grocer, a close friend of Carlo Combino, head of the New York crime family of the same name. He married Sue Marancana, which he had two children. Bruno owned an extermination company in Trenton, New Jersey, and an aluminum company in Florida. He also had a share in the Plaza Hotel in Havana, Cuba. He was first arrested in 1928 for reckless driving. He would later also be arrested for violating gun laws an illegal alcohol brewery, organizing illegal gambling and trafficking in stolen goods. In 1959, Joseph Idler was succeeded by then 49-year-old Bruno as head of the Philadelphia Mafia family. In the two decades, he ran the crime syndicate. Bruno had the reputation for being a lovely dog, who favored conciliation rather than excessive force in conflict resolution. For example, he once banished the violent mafioso Nicky Scarfo to Atlantic City. In addition, he also came into contact with Jusery and media less than other mafia bosses. From that period, despite civil arrest, Bruno always managed to escape long sentences. He received his longest prison sentence two years for refusing to testify before a grand jury. Because the Atlantic City gambling industry was very lucrative, the five families, New York, five powerful crime families, wanted to share in the profits. Although Atlantic City had always been considered part of the Philadelphia Mafia. Bruno decided to let the New York families in. He realized that the five families were stronger and more powerful than his own family. In exchange for his approval, he demanded a share of their proceeds. This agreement, however, Aroused much resentment with his own organization. In the early 1980s, various factions within the Philadelphia crime family began conspiring against the now elderly Bruno. He was murdered on March 21, 1980. He was sitting in front of his house in a car when he was shot in the back of the head with a shotgun. It's believed that the assassination was ordered by Antonio Capanegro. Bruno's concierge in the weeks following the murder. Capo Negro was killed himself. His body was found in a body bag and with dollar bills stuffed into his mouth and his anus as a symbol of his greed. Capo Negro was murdered at the request of the commission, the governing organization of the American Mafia, because he had not received approval for Bruno's murder. Other members of the Philadelphia crime family involved in Bruno's murder were also tortured and killed. The murder sparked a mob war in Philadelphia which claimed 20 lives over the next four years, including the succeeding boss Philip Chicken Montesta. Angelo also portrayed it in the movie Legend, the movie about the great twins. Angelo was played by Charles Ponderi.